welcome. Uh, so, in the last lecture, uh, we were talking about uh, how to compute the Fourier coefficient of a function which is defined on Jn and the number of steps one required to do the simple uh, calculation of multiplication and addition. In a computer is going to do addition and multiplication. So, how many steps needed to compute a Fourier transform that is uh, very important uh, for many things if you want to compute the Fourier transform precisely. So, what we have seen is that if I take a uh, function f and I write it in terms of the f 0, f 1, f n minus 1 and the Fourier coefficient to be capital F 0 to f n minus of 1. Then as a matrix what we have seen the script f when it acts on the column vector f 0 to f n minus of 1, this is going to land us into the Fourier coefficient of the function f. And that what we have seen is that it will be kind of the order n square plus 2 n at most. I mean that is what we can do it if we multiply, if we take each step multiplication as one step and each addition as one step. Then if we compute it this is n cross n matrix and so we will get of the order of n square at least. So, now so, just imagine that if n square and if you have a large data you need to find the Fourier coefficient, then it, it will take enormous amount of time for the computer to compute the Fourier coefficients. So, there is a clever method given by Cooley and Turkey uh, that for certain cases one can reduce this number of steps actually after their uh, algorithm, so um, uh, life becomes much easier to compute. So, we will we'll see the that. So, now what is the essence of their idea? So, now we have seen in the last lecture, this is what is our Fourier coefficient we can write it in terms of the operator f act script f acting on f we are going to get the Fourier coefficients. Okay, so, now uh, let us uh, play around a bit. So, now I define uh, two functions I will write f 1 f 1 to be equal to just I will take the odd and even divided. So, this is f of 2, this is 0. So, this suppose I have n, I am getting 2 m. So, this is f of 2 m minus 2 and 0. And I write similarly f 2 to be equal to 0 f 1, 0, f 3, 0 like this, then 0 and this is f of 2 m minus of 1. Clearly, if we see f, our function is nothing but f 1 plus f 2. And similarly, what we would like to define the script f 1 to be equal to 1 by 2 m and this is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and then this is 0, 0, 0, this is uh, 1 omega square then omega to the power 2 into 2 m minus 1 and then again 0, 
0 and then the, the last but one column will have the last column will have 0. This is 1 omega to the power 2 m minus 2 and this is omega to the power m minus 2 m minus 1 uh, 2 m minus 2 and uh, we denote similarly f 2 as 1 over 2 m and then this is 0 0 1 omega omega square and then this goes to then 0 0 0 and then here in the last column would be omega 2 m minus 1 omega 2 into 2 m minus 1 and this goes to then if I if you can see that uh, if you are acting f 1 with f 2. Now, if you act f 1 with f 2 that a priori we know that this is equal to 0 and similarly f 2 if it acts on f 1 this is equal to 0 and also notice that f is equal to f 1 plus f 2. So, therefore, uh, f 1 f 1 plus f 2 f 2 this is equal to our Fourier coefficient. So, in a sense what we can see that we are reduce what essentially when I am acting the script f 1 on f I am although it is uh, a part of the 2 m cross 2 m matrix, but uh, I can treat this that as a function on z m instead of z 2 m. Similarly, for f 2 that means, the number of uh, if uh, the number of computing the Fourier coefficient it is going to be let us say if I denote it by for z m this then what it suggests is that if I take 2 m z 2 m then number what I need this is essentially lesser equal to here this is the m Fourier coefficient here I am going to m Fourier coefficient with little bit of extra multiplication and uh, so therefore this is some comparable to 2 times number of m and plus something. So, that what we can easily you can do it by computing, but we will write it down very explicitly. So, a good reference for these materials is the book A First Course in Fourier Analysis by David W. Kamler. Now, let us uh, look at this. So, now I will say the lemma. let cardinal of m denotes the minimum number of minimum number of the operation needed to calculate all the Fourier coefficients of any function on 
z m then the number I need to calculate the Fourier coefficient for a function on j 2 m is less or equal to 2 times the number of m plus 8 m. So, so the proof one can see it you take let us do omega 2 m I will denote it as e to the power minus 2 pi i by 2 m. Okay. Now, first I need to compute omega 2 m omega 2 m square and this is omega 2 m 2 m 2 m minus of 1 this will require how many steps 2 m steps ok to 2 m multiplication. So, this is 2 m rather to be more precise 2 m multiplications ok. Now, we know that so, if omega m this is equal to e to the power minus 2 pi i by m e to the power minus 2 pi i 2 by 2 m which is equal to omega 2 m square. So, now we can we can compute the f 1 and f 2 by at most 2 m addition and multiplications. Now, let us calculate uh, our Fourier coefficient f k by the definition of that this is equal to 1 by 2 because 1 by 2 m and this. So, this is equal to f 1 of k the even part plus f 2 of k omega 2 m to the power k why is that? Now, just you calculate the simple calculation this is 1 by 2 m then the summation over n equal to 0 to 2 m minus of 1 this is f of k f of n e to the power minus 2 pi i k n by 2 m this is what we need to calculate. So, this sum I can write it as 1 by 2 this is 1 by m summation over n is equal to 0 to uh, m minus 1 and f of 2 n and e to the power minus 2 pi i k 2 n by uh, 2 m plus 1 by m summation n is equal to 0 to m minus 1 f of 2 n plus 1 and then e to the power minus 2 pi i k 2 n plus 1 by 2 m. So, which essence if you write this down then this is going to be 1 over m summation n is equal to 0 to m minus 1 this is our f 1 at n and then this is e to the power minus 2 pi i k n divided by m the factor of 2 gets cancelled plus 1 by m summation over n is equal to 0 to m minus 1 f 2 of n and then e to the power minus 2 pi i k n by m into e to the power minus 2 pi i k by 2 m. 
So, this is what precisely what we have written down over there. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2 and then this is f 1 of k plus f 2 of k and then omega 2 m to the power k. That is what it is uh, going to be. So, now as you can see that f k can be computed then uh, at most one addition and two multiplication. This is one addition and two multiplication that is what it is going to therefore, hence the cardinality of the number of multiplication and addition required for z 2 m this is lesser equal to. So, now f 1 I need to get m because I am computing the for I am assuming that the this is the number in which I can compute for z m. So, this is 2 times number of m then this is the 3 into 2 that is the 6 m and plus when we are calculating this 2 m multiplication. So, this will give us 8 m. So, that is what the lemma is saying. So, now the number of 2 m. So, now as you can see that if you are taking the 2 m. Uh, so, we will going to get this. So, now this has a wonderful effect which is called the fast Fourier transform. More popularly known as FFT. Okay. So, what does it say? So, this says that you take this theorem given omega n this is equal to e to the power minus 2 pi i by n with n I am taking 2 to the power n. This is this works for particular if our n is of the form 2 to the power n where n is uh, a non negative integer. So, n equal to 1 and onwards positive integer it is possible to calculate the Fourier coefficient of a function on z n with at most 4 into 2 to the power n into n which is nothing but uh, 4 2 to the power n is capital N and n is nothing but log 2 to the base n. So, this is a drastical step. Now, for example, if you want to take suppose uh, uh, let us say uh, let us compare this suppose if I am taking n uh, is equal to 2 to the power 16. Then in our earlier one, one would like to get that this is going to be 2 to the power 32. So, at least this 2 to the power 32 is equal to 65536. However, if I calculate this, so this is 4 into 2 to the power 16 into n is 16. That means, 2 to the power 16 into uh, 2 to the power uh, 16 is equal to this 
and uh, 2 to the power 16 into 64. So, instead of going to 65,536 steps are needed if we just do with the multiplication matrix multiplication uh, with the f and then find out all the Fourier coefficients. So, this is a very clever trick and very efficient trick which actually uh, makes the computation possible. So, the proof is by induction. Now, for n equal to 1, now that means for what is we are doing in z2, so which is equal to 0 and 1. Now, if you calculate f0, then this is f0 plus f of 1. Now, if I calculate f1, uh, this is of course half of this and f1, then this is going to be 1 half of f0 and if I am taking 2 divided by 2, 2 pi i pi pi i which is equal to minus 1 into f of 1, then how many steps it is needed? It will need only 1, 1, 2 and then here 1 multiplication by 1, then addition 2, 3, uh, 3 steps are needed. So, here uh, it is 5 and 5 is less than definitely if I want to take n equal to 1, then this is le this would be 8. So, true for n equal to 1, suppose true for n equal to 2 to the power n minus of 1, then by applying uh, so cardinality of 2 to the power n by lemma 2 into cardinality of 2 to the power n minus of 1 plus 8 into 2 to the power n minus of 1 that is your m 2. So, now this is equal to this is this is what it is true for this. So, this is lesser equal to 4 into 2 to the power here this one is 4 into 2 to the power n minus 1 into 2 uh, plus uh, into n, n is this n minus 1 plus uh, this is uh, uh, 8m, 8 into 2 to the power n minus of 1. So, this if we if we take this out then uh, this is 4 into 2 to the power n if I am taking this out then I am going to get n minus of 1 plus 1 which is equal to 4 into 2 to the power n into n. That is what, it, so hence it is true. So, by induction we can reduce drastically if our n is of the form 2 to the power uh, uh, n. Actually this kind of thing one can do it suppose remark if my n is some 3 to the power n, then what I am going to do is that I will take uh, look at all the cosets like uh, 3k, 3k plus 1, 3k plus 2 and play the same game. So, in that case what I am going to get is that this is 6n log 3 to the base n. It is now if you go to for any natural number k suppose n equal to k to the power n, then what you are going to get is that 2 k uh, n, then, then this is uh, uh, log k base n, that is what. So, instead of n square, we are bringing it down to n log n, that is a real, real good improvement for the computation. and it must have made lot of crystallographer uh, very happy. Thank you.